Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Rosewall RSV L4000 4U rack mount server case. And a little bit about what a server PC is, is it's basically a computer on a network that provides services for other computers on that network. So now you know a little bit about what this case can do. And let's get started. Here's a look at the front of the case first. You've got these handles here. This is like an all metal design, which is great. It's sturdy, but it's also incredibly heavy. And on these handles, you've got this foam padding here on the inside. Also, at the front, you get plenty of ventilation holes. And if you can see through there, there's also this foam padding layer inside that helps capture the uh, dust that gets through because we've got some fans in there pulling air in to cool off the drive bays. And they've also included a key lock for you with two keys, just in case you lose one. And let's just go ahead and open that up. This is to make sure no one gets in here to steal all, all, all of these precious drives. But um, in here, you'll notice that uh, there are some, there's some ventilation holes here at the top, large ones. And I'm going to remove this cover on the inside so we can take off this piece here. So just take off these four screws going to get started here. Now that I have removed these four screws, can take off the top piece here. Oh wait, of course I have to lock it or lock it and take off this piece right here. Inside is this foamy layer. So I'm, I'm guessing you can just go ahead and clean that too every once in a while. So you keep your system running smoothly and uh, just go ahead and place this piece back. All right. Now, over here, you'll notice that you get two pre-installed 120 millimeter fans that takes air in uh, back to the drives, drive bays, which are behind them. I will remove them once I take off this top cover. And next to them, you get three five and a quarter inch drive bays, and above it, power button, reset button, two USB 2.0 ports, and we've got some LED indicators. To the left is power, hard drive, and these two are for the um, network activity LEDs. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this since it's not gonna fit on the Lazy Susan and turn it around to the rear. But first, a quick look at the sides. Both sides don't have really much going on except for some ventilation holes down at the bottom. Same for the other side. Let me just go ahead and lift this. This is incredibly heavy. Yeah. All right, all steel construction, of course. And finally, let's go to the rear and take a quick look-see at what this case has to offer. All right, here I go. Not as easy. <laughs> Wish I was stronger, but I am not. There. Here's a look at the rear of the case. As you can see, most of the outside of the case is painted black, but the inside and um, the rear are not. And you've got a power supply mount here, some honeycomb ventilation all around. You get two 80 millimeter rear exhaust fans to push air out, as well as, let's see, two, four, six, seven expansion slots, and the knockout for your input-output shield for your motherboard. You can kind of see in there that they've already included some uh, standoffs on there for where the motherboard is. And I uh, might as well just quickly go over the motherboard compatibility. Basically, this case can hold 12-inch um, by 13-inch EATX motherboard and below. Let's take a look inside. There are two screws here and here and here and here that I need to take off before I can slide off the top cover. So this will just take a quick minute. Now that the cover's off, here's a look inside. You'll notice that some of the motherboard standoffs, like I mentioned earlier, are present on the board. And here's a, another look at the two rear exhaust fans with their Molex and pass-through connectors, two of them, as well as the Molex and pass-through for the center three fans. So you get three 120 millimeter fans that are also blowing air out this way. So you get a lot of fans here, all included, really awesome. And so here's a look at the drive cages. You get four drive trays with each cage. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove 
one of the cages. You can remove either of them. And this five and a quarter inch drive bay here can be converted to hold a 3.5 inch drive cage holding four 3.5 inch drive mounts. And let's take a quick look at how that is removed. We're back here at the front with the front panel unlocked. And you see these two round points here? Just push down on them and go ahead and slide the cage out. One moment. Ah, there we go. See these pieces here? Latch on and hook in, and that's how it locks in here. So here's another look at the fan side. The fan also comes with a Molex with pass-through. You can kind of see in there. There we go. So let's take a quick look at the drive cages, shall we? Here it is, your um, 3.5 inch drive mount. These are plastic trays and you get four of them in this cage and the other, so eight total. One quick thing before I forget is that next to these three 120 millimeters, you get, of course, your front panel connectors, two USB connectors for the USB 2.0 ports at the front, as well as your power reset and LED plugs. One more thing is that you get this support beam here to help keep this case nice and sturdy. Last item on this video would be the accessories. Let's open up this box here and see what Rosewool has to offer. Inside is user guide. Always good to look at so you know exactly how to mount everything. Okay, and you also get a bunch of these extra rails. These are the ones that you see on top of the drive cage. The ones that help, um, help you lock this into place. And one last bag, you get a motherboard speaker in here, as well as some more golden standoffs, motherboard standoffs, and your other mounting hardware, I'm sure for the drives and whatnot. That wraps up our overview on this Rosewall RSV L4000 for you rack mount server case. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.